Fridays, 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. In the newsroom, you can't afford to miss it. Yes, you can't afford to miss in the newsroom on OSBC television Monday to Friday, 3.30. Um, up on what only use of this mining. Yeah, we have two issues to look at. And we want to use this medium to congratulate the government of Foshan State under the governor, Senator Ademola Adeleke, on the for a free um, yes, celebration of the creation of Foshan State. We equally want to use this medium to celebrate with the entire people of Foshan State on this um, milestone. And at the same time, um, on behalf of the DGPS, we equally rejoice with the management and staff of OSBC on these 33 years of creation of Ocean City Game is a huge um, master. Yeah, I am in the studio. Dr. Yusuf is my name, and with me is Adivari Ejimakinde. Yes, it is a pleasure to be in the newsroom. Yes, we are still expecting one or two more of our participants in the newsroom. One of the topics we shall be taking a look at is what is involved now in some quarters in the news that is um, on the weekend. The federal government made an announcement that over 22,000 certificates brought in by Nigerians from some universities in the neighboring countries of Togo and the Republic have been withdrawn and rendered invalid. Invalid means those who have been working with these certificates will have to um, lose their jobs. And those who are still um, using the certificates to look and play will have to say, you know, bye bye at least, um, you know, um, for now. Ariba Regime Akele, how did it get to you that some Nigerians will have to leave the shores of Nigeria? It is not new. We have Nigerians in South Africa, pursuing degrees. We have Nigerians in Europe, pursuing degrees in the US, pursuing degrees. But that Nigerians will leave the shores of this country and go to some obscured university, so to speak, in, in the Republic and Togo. Okay. Uh, it is quite unfortunate that uh, Nigerians are expressing such a scenario, such incident in the country. But the decisions of the federal government is a welcome idea because it's, they have to checkmate the so-called allegations and uh, they have come up with their reports and found out that uh, the, those who possess the uh, certificates within a particular year, 20, year 2017 to, 20, to, to this yeah, year to this year <coughs> 2017 the, to this year especially in the republic of togo togo and togo the and republic of Guinea, uh, togo um those found culpable have to be punished they have to uh make sure that they they are punished for what they have done it shows that uh, there's corrupt uh, practice in the education system during that period. Uh, it will not hug away for those people that are their counterparts in other universities, conventional universities, who have labored very and they got their certificate uh, in a, the right way, they have labored for it. Uh, it's not good for them uh, to be at par with so colleagues who just got their certificate within a specific period of some days or week when <laughs> others have gone to the uh, wall of the universities to labor day and night sweat to make sure they got this certificate they should not be rated equally that's mm. what i'm trying to say so uh it is a welcome idea and we also check uh those people who engage in such practices uh, so far, it is good that uh, the federal government was able to unravel that uh, incident and kudos to the uh, investigative journalist who also uh, was the brain behind the scene who unraveled uh, the uh, sharp practices in those universities. So with this development, uh, we think that uh, uh, everybody we have to uh, 
call himself or herself to order, including the parents, they have to know uh, that uh, the, the institution where they will study is a, is a recognized one and they follow the normal procedure to really be able to labor for what uh, this okay they will be able to uh, divert in the in, in future. So those people that were there, it's quite unfortunate that there are some people among them that are brilliant, they may be brilliant, they may be uh, up and doing, but so far that has been discovered that during that period, some have been found wanting. Uh -huh. So it means uh, everybody, they also have to be punished. They should not be set aside. It is just unfortunate that we have some people like that that can even be able to defend their certificate. But that institution has not done well also. They didn't portray the image of their country well. And they even portray the image of that educational institution very well. So I see it as a good development to checkmate uh, examination practices, fraudulent practices in the education system among okay. others. Yeah, uh, thank you, Carol. You know, we know that at least, at least, conservatively, more than seventy percent of those who seek admission into universities do so through their parents. Mm -hmm. So maybe thirty percent do so. There may be um, orphans, maybe those whose parents cannot really cater for them, so they work for themselves. Now, what would you say about more than seventy percent of parents who had to seek university education? For their children and wives in these universities in these countries, Togo and the Republic, what have our parents are there? What would you say about them? Well, uh, about the parents that are seeking certificate for their children from all these uh, universities, where the fake certificates are being issued, well, mm, everything is a product of corruption. Mm. You know, in any country where you have corruption as an institution. Uh, this kind of thing, you cannot do without this kind of uh, practices. Mm -hmm. You know, the, 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 who are those people who are awarding those certificates? Are they not human beings? Yeah? Are they not taking money for what they are, well, I mean, for the certificate they are awarding? Why is it that more emphasis is on paper qualification more than skills acquired by individuals in the society? Why? It is because of more emphasis being placed on those certificates. That is the reason why people are looking for certificate at all costs. Now, if not for that reporter that discovered this kind of thing, it has been on and on and oh, on. Oh, since, since, since year 2017. Since year 2017. It, it could even be beyond, be beyond that. that. Why? It's because of too much emphasis on certificates. If you, if, you, if you put two people now, if you want to employ two people now, they have the same, uh, mean, the same certificate. I mean, one is having uh, first class and the other one is, sec is having second class. Either upper or lower. Either upper or lower. If you put them to test, eh, even if that one having the lower, uh, or I mean, lower credit uh, pass, mm -hmm. ha I mean, is capable of doing what you are expecting to, I mean, what you the want to do. The first class person uh, will the be first, the employment. Man. The first class person will be given the job, not considering whether he is capable of doing, I mean, I mean of, of performing that duty or not. It's because too much emphasis are laid on, are placed on a certificate. paper certificate. And until we de-emphasize this, and go back to the drawing board and I mean, begin to lay emphasis on the actual skills acquired by individuals before you employ, we, we, we will continue to have this kind of thing. So yeah. now, talking about the other aspect of it, why is it that we are having this kind of fake certificate? It's because of corruption. Now. You, you have two people looking for a job now. One is having first class, the other one is having second class. Now, you, you, you knew within yourself that that man having first class cannot do what the one having second class can do. You still, went, you still go ahead and employ that one having first class. That is corruption, isn't it? Of course it yes, is. it's an aspect of, it's, it's, it's a kind of corruption. Now, those people are awarding that kind of certificate under six weeks. For individuals, are they not taking money because of that? They are taking money, and I mean, they are like Kaba. 
and that is what they do for their living. Oh. So now, how long are we going to continue with this kind of thing? And the problem is that, I mean, another aspect of it is that this issue of corruption, you know, the more effort, the more, the more, I mean, government is putting effort to combat it, the more hydra headed the problem is becoming. Now, what is the way out now? Before we go to the way out, Kai Ode and you know, Adibari, um, I have had uh, a cause to speak with some of these students, okay. Nigerian students who went to six certificates in Togo. Okay. In fact, we have had a couple of them who came here for their internship. Yes. And I've asked, why did you have to leave me? I said, oh, as a strike. As a, as a strike? How many years do you spend in Togo? Three years. Okay, so you spend just three years three in years. Togo and Republic and you come back to Nigeria with certificate and you will still be mobilized for you know, NYC. NYC. Now, let us look at this way. I agree with you, it is corruption in total. But just to have just said, everybody now worships um, certificate. It's about certificate. Nobody cares about the, the, stuff, IQ, yes. the, the stuff you have in your head. Um, let us blame the Nigerian society first. Before we give the Nigerian society the kudos yeah. that uh, Tunubu has been able to take, you know, that step. Mm -hmm. It may be because the Togolese authorities and the Bino authorities know that, oh, every, anything goes in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. That is it. If you are from Nigeria, oh, just take your certificate within six weeks, you will get your job. Let me tell you this. Mm -hmm. Last week, the Brigadier General of the NYSC came out with a bombshell that um, street hawkers, bricklayers, tailors, and what have you, were mobilized by a university in the South South. Hmm. For NYSC. That is it. But it, yes, let me say University of Canada. And upon investigating, these people have no academic records hmm. in the university. Yet, an anima within the system in the university mobilized them yeah. for, for NYSC. Because everybody is, is Nigeria, don't bother, you will get hmm. it. That is it. otherwise. Even if a Nigerian goes to the Republic to get a two-month certificate, he will know you cannot use that to get job where mm. in Nigeria. Mm. You can imagine how many of them have gotten salaries from 2017 till date mm. using a certificate from these universities to seek job and they got job. Whereas graduates of Nigerian universities mm. are there, not being what, not being employed. Let me tell you another thing: there is a university here in the southwest. In the south, because okay. I deal with okay. youth, uh, I'm a youth advocacy mm -hmm. when it comes to education. Mm -hmm. That there is a particular federal university. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter you want to study law, you want to study medicine. Nobody cares about what you score, whether you score 260 or 270. Mm -hmm. They will just bill you. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. They bill you. You want to study medicine, mm -hmm. it is 1.2 million naira if your parents can pay. That's for instance, so you want to study law, it is over 50,000 naira if mm. your parents can pay. You want to study English. And they give you admission. And they give you admission. Mm. The only thing you need to do is just uh, uh, just obtain your jam form, fill it, write the exam so that you have a registration number mm. for future references for NYS. Mm. So that is it. So the, gov the federal government, the Ministry of Education still has a lot to do as far as this. Something happened in the midst of Ibadan a couple of years ago. A boy came to seek admission, he scored over 300 and wanted to study law. Mm. And he, he, you know, he had A1 in literature. Mm. At the post UTME screening, physical screening, yeah. he was asked, who wrote um, this popular novel? Who, who wrote, who is the author of Things Fall Apart? Mm. And, and Things Fall Apart was part of the novel recommended for them to read for the exam. Mm. Mm. So they didn't know the author of Things yes, Fall, Fall Apart. apart. University of Ibadan denied him that mission. It's just as simple as that. Mm -hmm. And the guy might have written UTME by himself. Mm -hmm. He might have written, but the question is, how would you have read a novel and you would not know no, the, the, the author of the novel? No. So the federal government and the Ministry of Education have a lot to do. Mm -hmm. Yes, rotting with the Republic, we are talking about it. Rotting Togo, okay, what about rotting Nigeria? In, Nigeria. In, my, in, my, in my active days as, as a reporter, I've had cause to speak with fresh NYSC graduates, fresh one, during their, what do you call it, personal parade. You speak with them, 
the Swiss so I cannot really speak English. Oh, hmm. I have been to invest in Nigeria and you cannot speak English. There was a day um, law school was saying universities are giving their graduates to attend one year law school. Mm. Graduates who cannot fill forms. Mm. You can imagine a law graduate mm. not knowing the meaning of next of kin. <laughs> so, so we are just discovered that it's as bad as that. It is as bad as that. Mm -hmm. It's just everywhere. Mm -hmm. And you can imagine the graduate of English who cannot analyze a simple sentence. Ade goes to school, cannot tell us what is Ade as a noun, what is goes as a verb, what is true as a preposition. Mm -hmm. And these are the people whose parents know, uh, whose who parents are well to do society and they know who matters. Yes. Mm -hmm. Their, ch their children will not write entrance examination for any for teaching any job. Yes, just yes. matter of, mm. I have a child who studies in this and the guy gets job. Right. And we are talking about that the rot in education will continue. How will you not continue? Mm. Mm. So we are not talking about the way out. So what is the way out? The federal government we have we have we have to do is just the means of education too. But the way out, mm. certificate, no skills. Mm. At times, when I watch NTA mm. and I read some of the um, the scrolling headlines, okay, okay. I ask myself questions. Are there no proofreaders? Yes. This it is yes. not about spelling in, mistakes. So in, it's in, about in, grammatical in, errors. Not only NTA. Mm. Even other stations. Yes, other stations. Other stations. Yes. You see, grammat mm. blatant grammatical errors. Mm. I want to ask question. I mean, are there are no editors, editors who went to universities to study general. mass comm or study linguistics or study Somebody English? Somebody that can, can call their attention that ah, this what they are doing is not correct. Mm. Okay. Uh, well, part of the way out is that the the parents also they must also live to expectations. They should they are also stakeholders in the education sector mm. and they are expected to. Uh, behave well and comply with the rules and regulations guiding the education. They should show the habit of uh, curiosity, mm -hmm. uh, curiosity to get their children uh, complete their studies on time. Mm -hmm. Some, as a result of that, they send them to uh, university, universities or institutions mm -hmm. outside the country mm -hmm. because of that curiosity that they should complete this thing because uh, it might even be as a result of frustration that their mm -hmm. children uh, were unable to call to 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 get a good grade from a job or work or whatever <laughs> so they will just decide to say okay go to another country there's a way out if job has not given you a exactly. you can just go there go to go. all this thing must be stopped mm -hmm. they should make sure that they abide with the rules the course and the regulation of the country to make sure they, they compete with their equals, colleagues in the country, so as to make it and give them the best they can they need. They should be given the needed assistance in another way down private. Yeah, thank you. Sorry, Tayo, there's yeah. nothing I've just read that uh, Neko and Waek are trying to make a that, policy that's that students, of, uh, students not up yes, to the should not write Waek. What, 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 what is yes. that? that? So, if I have a child who has completed grammar school at 16, so we have to stay at home for mm -hmm. two years. Mm -hmm. And somebody is telling me that they come a room. You can seek admission mm -hmm. once you are 15. Uh, I will have to send uh, my, uh, my uh, child to that, 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 that is another what thing. Is so much so? You see, you know, when, 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 I mean, those who are in government should think very well before they embark on a policy. You don't, you don't adopt a policy in order to create another problem. Hmm, exactly. You, uh, yes, you are not up to eating. You cannot write white. That is that done. If you are not saying, if you are not saying, if you are not up to eating, you cannot write down. You cannot write, you write why I can you neko. Can, you can't write why I can neko. Then I will take my my child to elsewhere. To another country. That, that, that is it. Eh? Uh, some people have the money. They send their children to Ghana and, uh, and any other country to go and come. Uh, the, 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 the issue of the ash strike is also there. Eh? Eh? When they will stay at home eh? for longer eh? years. Eh? So as yes. a result of that, the uh, law to order yes. to engage in other dubious acts, I exactly, think, think, many think, even I get pregnant, uh, pregnant during the process. By, All these by, things by are challenges. enacting on those policies, by enacting, I mean, by by 
by, by adopting those policies. I think the, the federal government is trying to create problems for the youth. Yeah, exactly. They are trying to exactly. create problems. Mm -hmm. ah, there are because students who write their exam by themselves at age 15, 16. Age 15, 16. So if a child completes yeah. SSL at, at 15, yeah. I will have 15. to say, the child will have to say at all for three yeah, years. For three months. years, uh, before you can proceed to higher institution. Uh -uh. Okay, we we'll go to the second topic, and that is um, the former vice president Atiko Abakar's outburst against President, you know, Tenobu. We have um, various headlines mm -hmm. from the newspapers, yeah. so we'll pick them one after another. One says, you are adopting sham subsidy regime mm -hmm. to fund your 2027 ambitions, mm -hmm. Atiko to federal government. Okay. That is, um, is alleging that Tenobu is trying to use the subsidy of a thing you know, to get enough money mm -hmm. ahead of mm -hmm. 2027 election. Well, you see, uh, well, uh, well, uh, whenever I had anything, any outburst from any of these political gladiators, I used to laugh. You see, there is one thing with a political office, I mean, with our politicians in this country. Mm -hmm. If they fight, they struggle for something, they can't get it. They don't believe and they don't believe that any other person can do it better than that. The moment it doesn't the person that gets that thing, they won't they won't acknowledge his effort. They won't even see anything good in what he is doing. Mm -hmm. And you see, and until we start I mean until we stop the blame game in this country, I don't think we'll get anywhere. Look at all these people criticizing government. I don't. I don't. Criticism is good. Of course. The constructive of course. criticism, mm -hmm. but at least, uh, and then, when, whenever you criticize, you make sure that you provide alternative mm -hmm. for the. I mean, for what exactly? I mean, for what you are criticizing. Yeah, that is what is so called constructive criticism. Constructive criticism. I remember in the in the in the in the days of the first republic. At least we read some of those uh, things that has to do with politics in the First Republic. Chief Aulaw, if you want to criticize government, Chief Aulaw will sit down, look at all the policies of government, bring out the, the, the loopholes, and then find alternatives. So that when he's criticizing, at the same time, he will be offering yeah, alternative, yeah, exactly. alternative for the government to follow. But these days, what are we seeing? Destructive criticism. So for no, can, 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 society cannot grow in this manner. Society cannot grow. So and until a politician learn how to how to how to criticize constructively, I don't I, I think we still have a long way to go. And as a rather to that before I did a you know response. Article is also saying about some regime that is 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 querying the federal government that why did the federal government of Tinobo approve a jeep contract in a hurry and not and why not share um mobile? So the question is, what is Atiku's interest in Shell and Mobile against, against Ajib? Well, uh, if I start from that area, uh, he might be thinking that uh, the president wants work in the named uh, company, perhaps okay, Ajib. Ajib. Uh, he might also be have another uh, interest in other company like Shell or whatever. Mm -hmm. So he might be thinking that uh, maybe he has his people in the Ajib area and it's a, as an opportunity uh, to uh, do the uh, <laughs> to, 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 to engage in the sharp practices. sharp practices or whatever. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh -huh. So you see, until Nigeria needs attitude to not change in our political system, mm -hmm. we need it. When he was revering, accusing the incumbent president that he wants to amass weight mm -hmm. ahead of the next uh, election. election. Perhaps because there was a news that uh, some of the contracts was awarded to the son of the incumbent president. Uh, that was an allegation which has not been found true. Exactly. But there, there is a news in the, in the town. So with that news, where as ordinary Nigerians, you and I, we have of the opinion that yes, it might be an opportunity at least to gain some things. At least, at least when you are there, it's also part he has the right. Abi, mm -hmm. say also in Nigeria, we have heard it before. You have like, and this thing started gradually. We have expressed where the son of uh, the incumbent governors will be 
uh, assigned some rules, mm -hmm. uh, give you some contracts across the states of the federations. So this thing is is is, is has started now gradually. Now to the president now, he also was said to have been giving uh, certain contract all this what all that. So we we need attitude change. He also that he was accusing somebody. We should recall that he also was was alleged of sharp practices of corruption uh, in the power and uh, other sectors. No, he was the he was, he was the chairman of the Bureau of Public Enterprises. He was accused of selling yes. uh, nations yes. to yes. his own cronies. So he yes. was alleged also in the past. So until we need attitude change to make sure that the interest of the Nigerians should, should be of, of priority, eh? that is when we can move the nation forward. All this blame game is, will not take us to, to nowhere unless we have that attitude change, the interest of the Nigerians, the interest to move the nation forward. I think that is very important. Uh, that's all about the democracy in Nigeria is not government of Tinubu by Tinubu for Tinubu. That's a Tinubu. That's the definition of. of <laughs> and you want to ask question? I mean, uh, is the federal government not holding a FEC meeting mm -hmm. or Council of States <laughs> meeting? You know, are the, are the governors no longer attending meetings? And that is the reason why I said the other time that when uh, sometimes when these people talk, you begin to laugh. No, before you continue, <laughs> can you hear? Because this thing raises a lot of questions. Are you now saying even PDP governors, you, 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 you could belong to the PDP, yes. are you not saying PDP governors are dollars so that when they attend meetings, you look at them, this is what I want, and they won't talk. And PDP governors too, you know, they have a forum. Yeah. That's just, to me, that is the meaning of this word, of yeah. this, that um, Tinubu is now the, you know, the... the, the I think, the and, and uh, well, looking at it from other perspective, mm. you cannot blame Ati. Mm. Because he has to be speaking in order to re remain relevant anyway, in the system. You know, you know, you know, that is the problem with the followers in this mm. country, the political followers in this country. That is one of the greatest problems we are having. You know, when our leader talks, we don't verify his utterances. Mm. Mm? But we, but they need it because once they, they once you remain silent and they, they don't hear anything from you again, the tendency is there for them to leave you. So an article will not want to lose followership. Mm -hmm. So he must be talking, so he must keep on talking, talking all the time. Regardless of whether it makes sense or not. So he has to be talking. Yes, we are really not saying that an article should not talk. We are really saying that you no, know, no, people should not talk. But when you want to criticize, bring out your facts. If you are saying this man has awarded contract to his son or to his wife or that, okay, let us get the papers. The papers. Those who told you that must have the what? The, the proof facts. The, the facts. Uh -huh. So go to the press with this fact. I don't know. Oh, oh this oh. man called Tinobu actually yeah. want to grant Nigeria to a complete what? To a complete court. Yes, we now need democracy. And if we and Tinobu has simply replied with that, look, we will tolerate free speech. We have been tolerating that. We will abide by the rule of law. We will welcome dissenting voices, and that is a beautiful thing about about democracy. Yeah. Well, nobody can come out and say this to to a military man, ah, no, soldier. No, no. Hmm. So that is one of the uh, hand. <laughs> uh, and I cannot imagine how many people the federal government has incarcerated for criticizing yeah. it. Have you heard of any? No. So we are in a democracy. No. We are. We are Everybody not. Everybody has the right. The right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the only thing is, the moment the, 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 the point your own freedom of speech stops, is the point the freedom of another person uh, to freedom know, also starts. The law itself has limitations. Mm -hmm. Really, of the course. The freedom of speech is subject to the law of libel and slander as well. Slander as well. So yeah. you see, all, all this. The, uh, the, the claim of uh, free speech, uh, free, I mean, rule of law, of law. Uh, human rights, uh, all these things have limitations. limitations. Mm -hmm. But people seem not to be to look at the limitations of these rights. Mm -hmm. And that is why many people used to run foul of the law. And those who are leading them, they can as well do these people good by telling them the nitty gritty of what is meant by the rule of law. Because a lot of people don't know. They don't know that although you can you you have freedom of speech, but you cannot go to a certain extent. 
I mean, you cannot go you beyond, cannot go beyond certain, certain, certain extent. And what, what, often, what often baffles me is that even that these advanced countries where we say, oh, in America you can say anything, you cannot. I can, I can recollect how many times Donald Trump had to take up some Americans mm. for certain things they cannot prove against him, mm. taking them to court, to court. even in the US. Mm. You can't just come out and say um, and say what you cannot defend mm. in these advanced countries. But here in Nigeria, if anybody says anything about the governor or the president, and the governor or the president decides to take a look, hey, leave him, yes. say the truth, yeah. and all of that. Yeah. And you see what to tell her, he said that plans. You know, yeah. he said that plans. In any case, yes, we have been able to, to look at two um, topics exhaustively. The first one is the issue of civic certificates from some universities not accredited, mm -hmm. even by the government of those countries, Togo and the Republic. And we have made it clear that the federal government has a lot to do, mm -hmm. and particularly the Ministry of um, Education. Education. There are institutions like that too, in our own country too. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, before we go, there was a time uh, Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board was given admission to students. Mm -hmm. And when they got the letter, they, which I don't know this university. Hmm. And the Uzzi University is at a village in the east, hmm. at a village in the south side. Yes, I remember my master friend, but yes, hmm. Hmm. Right. and he didn't apply to study in the hmm. university. Hmm. Why, why give me admission to a particular university? My parents do not know, I do not no, know, no. I have not heard of, hmm. although everything has reduced now. Hmm. And as you strike, too, is a factor. It's a factor. You it's put into studying medicine hmm. for six yes. years, yes. law for hmm. five years, yes. English for four years, and you end up growing beard yes. in the university yes. because yes. you want to study. Yes. So a, a course of four years, you end up standing, spending eight years. This is what is pushing many parents to take, you know, their children to all these yes. mushroom yes. Um, yes. universities. And for uh, articles and posts against um, Tinobu, yes, it is welcome. Yeah, free speech, but everything has a word, mm. has a limit. And, limit. and when you want to criticize somebody, just bring out a word. Your the facts. facts. And proof. Okay, uh, the federal government is Tinobu for two months. Okay, bring out instances of um, dictatorial tendencies mm. in the federal government. Yes, democracy allows everything. Criticism, mm. democracy allows it. But Nigeria will move further when our criticism is constructive. Mm. So much thanks to Adiba Regima Kinde. And thank you for right. having me. Okay. It's my pleasure yeah. hosting you. Tulu Atu Yu Yusuf is my name. Enjoy the rest of the day. Join our colleagues tomorrow on in the newsroom. Good evening.